Um, we've yeah. had the the pleasure of a, a of a mutual friend. Jim Parker has allowed us to use a couple of your live performances from a show from several years ago. And the first song we're going to share with our viewers is a song you wrote um, that was picked up by Patty Loveless called "Here I Am." If you could tell yeah. us the story behind this song, Tony, that would be amazing. Uh sure. Um... You know, we moved to uh, moved to Nashville back in '86, and that was one of the f very first songs I wrote. Uh, it, I had it for seven years before Patty recorded it. Um, I mean, she had passed on it actually a, a couple of times, but um, that song truly was uh, the result of uh, you move to town, and and everybody tells you this is how you write a song, and this is the only way you write a song. And I was hanging out at these uh, open mic shows at a place called Douglas Corner Cafe. And there was a young man who was very well established. And he kind of came and was like a mentor to a lot of us new arrivals. Very kind, of a brilliant, brilliant writer by the name of Kevin Welch. Yeah. And uh, Kevin is has always been, I don't even, even know if he knows how influential he was to me. But so I watched him play a song. And he broke every rule there was. There was <laughs> whatever they said do, he didn't. Whatever they said don't do, he did. And uh, it was just so refreshing to hear because they were just Kevin songs. Mm -hmm. They yeah. weren't. He wasn't trying to write for the radio. He was writing what he wanted to write and what he believed in, and uh, what he felt was his best work. And I went home, and the next morning I started working on Here I Am. And sure enough, it met a great deal of resistance because. Uh, true to just breaking rules <laughs> that are hard and you know fast, the the chorus doesn't repeat exactly right. in, in in all three after all three verses. So that was verboten. Nobody you know that was like you have to you have to change that. Well, I never did, and uh, I'm so very grateful it, uh, that it was Patty Loveless who did that song. Um, I came to town when we moved here. She was just getting started. She had a Dallas Frazier classic out called If My Heart Had Windows. And I fell in love with her immediately. She's amazing. And oh, oh, she's just a, truly a brilliant, brilliant artist. Uh, but anyway, uh, she, like I said, she passed on the song several times and then eventually came to a place in her life where I guess that the song uh, spoke to her in a way that she felt like she wanted to record it. And I'm so... I'm, I tell you the truth, Chris, I'm, I mean this. When I got a copy of that, I literally rode around till my truck ran out of gas just listening to that song over and over and over again. Uh, I was always such a fan, and it was such an honor for her to cut that song. She also cut another song on that record uh, called Handful of Dust. Yeah, and which later on went on, uh, Dolly Parton released an incredible Ooh. version of that song as well. We're definitely going to talk about that today because I want to hear your insight on Dolly and a lot of things. Oh. But um, I, I got to tell you, as a fan of music, um, Here I Am is not the song that Tony Arata is known for, um, obviously, you know, having written the dance, but for me... One of the greatest lines in the history of country music and why I love this particular song so much um, is the line, that burn you just like a brand. Man, that's yeah. some powerful stuff, man. Well, thank you, Chris. I, you know, and there again, uh, I, don't, I don't know that anybody who writes a song ever sits down and, and comes up with any line of note uh, just because they were trying to rhyme it with the line before. Right. Uh, we all, every once in a while, if you just got your, you know, your ears open and your mouth shut, you know, every once in a while, uh, some things just find you. I, I, you know, and I'm very grateful that I had a pencil in my hand when I, when that line came through. Yeah, just so as, as is the case with most of the, you know, any lines that you write that you're really proud of, I, I'd like to say, if it was just that simple, well, you know, I'd do it every Thursday, but that's just not the way it works. Yeah. Uh, this is an incredible song. I'm so excited to share this with everybody out there. I, I got to thank Jim Parker so much for allowing yeah. us to use this stuff. And I implore you guys to check out Jim Parker's uh, page as well. And we're going to share his information in the, in the description below just for him allowing us to use this song um, by the one and only Tony Arata. Y'all check it out. It's a song called Here I Am. Yeah. 
Don't do it, darling. Don't you dare look in there. You said you didn't want to see me, but you've been looking for me everywhere. You know that you're going to find me if you keep on drinking fast. Cause, honey, I'm right there waiting on you at the bottom of your glass. And here I am. Here I am I'm in the bourbon, I'm the water That burn you just like a brand Here I am It ain't working, my darling As hard as you may try You keep hearing those words you told me You never remains goodbye You know that you're just one step from another one being gone I know I've seen them all unravel I've been watching you all along And here I am Here I am I'm in every lie you're hearing That burn you just like it brand Here I am Darling, I got over you passing me over a long, long time ago. And my pride was so much stronger when I was younger. Now I would rather have you know that here I Here I am I still carry that flame for you Burning me like it burns Here I am